Well, we now have the date, of course, for the general election, the 4th of July. And Reform UK, with some big announcements today, I did write about this, uh, by the way, over at Heaver News. Do check out my newsletter. I'll put a link down below. You can go and read that, uh, subscribe, get that sent direct to your inbox. You don't miss any of my articles. But yeah, first of all, uh, Nigel Farage announcing that he will not be standing as a candidate for Reform UK in this general election. However, and this is significant, Nigel is quitting his GB News show during the election so that he'll be free to go and campaign for Reform UK for Reform candidates. Now, as to what Reform UK's focus is going to be in this election, well, their press conference today uh, entitled The Immigration Election. And of course, the Conservative argument during the course of this campaign is going to be, well, they're even worse. Well, what you've seen actually under the Conservatives, and these figures came out today, was net migration beyond anything we've seen before. 685,000 net in the year to December 2023. 764,000 net in the year to December 2022. And you had Richard Tice, the reform leader, announcing today that he will be standing in Boston and Skegness. Now, this is significant because when you look at the YouGov research on this, reform 11 points behind the Conservatives on 25% this. And Richard Tice absolutely clear, reform are going to go and win seats at this election and that they are standing uh, everywhere. They are standing in 630 seats. So no deals, uh, no candidates being withdrawn, reform standing everywhere as Richard Tice has long pledged. Uh, let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below, please, guys. Do let me know who you currently intend to vote for uh, at this general election. And this is some of what Richard Tice had to say today. Personally, I will be standing in the constituency of Boston and Skegness. And contrary to all the MP what all the commentators say, likes of my good friend Lee Anderson, myself, we are going to win seats. We are going to win seats. So what's our message? Well, this great country of ours, this incredible United Kingdom of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, so much potential, so much opportunity, and yet, sadly, so badly run, so badly led, so badly governed. Apparently, we've got all the experts in the Treasury, in the OBR, in the Bank of England, all these experts. Well, if they're so expert, and I just want you to think about the number 70, if they're so expert, how come we've ended up with the highest taxes for 70 years? 